Hi FlossTube, it's Kim with Kim J Inspired, here for another week to talk about all the stitchy goodness that there is to talk about in my little world here. If you are new here, this is a channel about cross stitch and life and some other crafts. Today we're going to talk a lot about finishing and I'm really excited because I have some, if you haven't been on Instagram or on my Facebook page, um, you haven't seen, I have some amazing finishes that I'm so happy about that the husband helped me with this week. Um, and I hope that you guys had a good stitchy week. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, who's liked, who's commented. I love the comments this week because we do have a fun giveaway. It is the fourth Saturday of the month. And as you guys know, we always do a bag giveaway. Um, this is an awesome bag from Joyful Stitching and I love it. And I know that a lot of you obviously love it too because you have commented to win the bag. So, this week has been good for us for in a lot of ways. I've hurt my knee and living in a two-story apartment um, kind of hurts going up and down the stairs. That's why we're trying to buy a house. Well, one of the many reasons is we're hoping to find a one-story house so that we don't have to go up and down the stairs as much because, hey, we're old. And maybe I'm a tad lazy. I don't know. So, hopefully that won't turn into a thing. I'm hoping it's something that um, I just maybe injured it somehow because it just started hurting for no reason. Um, and you know, and, and we're still looking for a house. We went yesterday, it was a funny story. We saw this house and we thought, hey, this might be a cool house. When we started to go, we started driving to it, and it was up all these curvy mountainous roads. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like living on this road. When we got to the house, it's like the house was built out the side of a hill or mountain or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not gonna live in that house. Gorgeous views, nice house. But I called our agent and said, I don't even want to go in it. I know I'm not going to live on these roads. So we thought when we left the house, going down the other roads to leave would be a little bit better. And we were wrong. The roads are really curvy. So the quest for a house be continues. And um, if you also, also on my Instagram page, I kind of showed a picture of what our dining room table looks like. And I say looks because I still haven't cleaned it off, even though I've kind of finished my finishes. Um, which is why I need a house with a craft room so that um, we can have a dining room table, even though we usually eat in front of the television watching sports. So, speaking of sports, if you're from Georgia or you know anything about the SEC, um, SEC football begins today. Now, my husband is a Bulldogs fan, and I'm a Tennessee fan. So, yes, I am dressed in red and black. Um, doesn't mean I support him. I'm still a vol for life. Hello, Tennessee volunteers, everyone out there. Um, but if you will notice, I have my Tennessee charm bracelet on that says balls. So yes, I'm kind of being very duplicit today or duplicitous. I can't even say the words today. It's been a long week. So anyway, that's our life. We're just looking for a house, trying to figure out what's wrong with my knee and cheering on the Bulldogs and the Vols tonight. And oh, and of course the Braves have clinched their division three years in a row to clinch the East and we're excited to begin watching the playoffs. I'm just so sad that the season is so short because um, I love my Braves and come on people, Freddie Freeman for MVP, Freddie Freeman, MVP. So anyway, all right, so that's all the stuff you wanna hear about sports and house hunting. Let's talk about stitching. I am gonna show you my finishings first or my finishes first. I am tired today, so I may not say things the way I should, so please forgive me. Um. I had fun finishing. It was a lot of fun. I actually I did go into Hobby Lobby and spend a little bit more than I thought. And I think part of what made it fun was my husband really got into the spirit of it. Yesterday, I was in the kitchen, you know, finishing, cutting, all this kind of stuff. And he came in and gave me some advice and actually volunteered to help me. And it was really nice. So, it's always good. I always say the family that crafts together stays together. So that bodes well for us. So my first finish that I don't think this, yeah, this was not the first one I did, but I'm going to show them to you in the order of my preference, even though I love them all. This is, hold on, I got to get close to the camera so I can grab this. Honey, will you move them closer to me as I show them? And yes, the husband is right there and you will see him because he will be doing the drawing for the wonderful project bag from Joyful Stitching at the end of the video. All right, I stitched this little thing here. Oh, the glare. Um, during the monthly magazine challenge on Facebook, which is a fun little group, you can still get involved. And I'll talk more about that later. So anyway, I'm gonna try to move it from the glare because it is gla it has glass. 
I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I had this little frame. I have several of these for Christmas decorations. I normally paint them, but it rained here in Georgia for a while. And I knew I was going to frame it. And this sounds like, well, what am I going to do with it? I don't have a fall tree this year. So I had purchased this little basket at Hobby Lobby. And so I just put some leaves and pumpkins in it. And we attached it there. So we're pretty excited about that. This was actually Steve's idea to attach this on here. I think if I remember correctly, I gave him a couple of options and this is what he chose, but it's adorable and I do like it. So it goes up there. Um, my second finish was very much inspired by Priscilla Blaine. It's very much a priscilla kind of thing. So you guys have seen me stitch this piece. This is the autumn piece. It's the free pattern from Tiny Modernist. I will link that down below. Since I stitched it on this checkered fabric, I decided I wasn't going to do a fabric backing. So what I did was I just attached this to some uh, mat board and just stretched the fabric over it. I didn't do a good enough job of stretching. I was a little off on my cutting. And I put it in this frame from Hobby Lobby. There's a sign under here that actually says gather together or something like that. And then I had all these, I always have all these leaves and picks sitting in the house. Whoop, there's a glue, a little glue strand there. And so I just put together some leaves and put this pumpkin on top. And lo and behold, this is how I finished this. And all of these are up on our mantle. I'm going to put a picture of how they're all lined up. I already have the picture on my personal Facebook page. So anyway, it is hot in here. I guess because I'm wearing a little bit of a jacket in our house. I might need to have it a little bit colder. Um, yes, the husband is moving. Thank goodness. So, that is autumn. All right, I'm going to have to move over here. This is my favorite finish. This is, I, this, I'll have to tell you how this happened because this was truly divine inspiration. So, if I can grab it. Hold on one second. I hate to move out of the camera. Husband, can you hand that to me? Hand it, pick it up from the base. No, the base. There, there we go. Okay, so. This is Pumpkin Queen. I finished stitching this and the autumn piece this week. Again, this is Pumpkin Queen. This is how I finished her. I, this was not what I envisioned for her. I had actually purchased, if you've seen some of Priscilla's finishes, she actually has finished this on a pumpkin container that you can purchase at Walmart or Michaels, which I, I bought it, and that was how I was going to finish this. But I always knew I was gonna use this orange check that I purchased off of Etsy has a backing fabric. So I managed, it's not perfectly straight, and some people can't tell, I can tell. So I managed to cut the fabric and get it attached to some board, sticky board, attached her to some sticky board, got it all glued together, and just didn't like the way it looked. Well, I, have the, I had purchased this for a Christmas finishing project. And I thought, and I looked at it, I thought, you know, I'm gonna try it. Well, when I went and put this on this, it just, just fit it fit perfectly so that's what we decided to do this bow i can't tie a bow i can't do that kind of stuff this little it's a little shabby chic bow i was well as i was really struggling with how to finish this if you look at this bow thing here i just knotted this a piece of scrap fabric and looked at it and goes that kind of looks like a bow i snipped it up a little bit i love it and these are some more leaves from dollar tree and family dollar and different places We've been calling her Miss Thang around this house because she's kind of been dominating my conversation. I'm so proud of her and so happy with her. So this is how I finished Pumpkin Queen. You probably have seen these in some, I posted it in a couple of groups. I'm gonna give these to my husband because I want them to go into their safe place um, and just be careful and I just, I'm just really picky. When I, when I spend all that time stitching and working, I'm extremely picky. So that is what I've been doing. I've just been on a finishing kick this week. Finished those three items, and he's putting those back up on the mantle so that I don't have to worry about them. It's not really a mantle that we have. Um, our house doesn't come with a mantle. It's basically a bookshelf that we've kind of turned into a mantle. But anyway, because I was so busy finishing, I really didn't do a lot of stitching, but I did have a new start, and I have one new start and one whip all together. So... Let me get to that. I don't know. There's something about Prairie Schooler, and you're going to hear a zip. Ooh, sorry, I should have opened these. Something about Prairie Schooler, and you may remember, I bought these books for 40 cents at a bookstore, but I'm not stitching out of these. I'm just saying, I have all. I have these books. I have another one. You can actually, I have the 40 cent sticker on this one still. It's a little bookstore called McKay's, and there's one in Chattanooga, Knoxville, and I think there's one in Nashville. 
as you know, my son lives and goes to school in Chattanooga, so we were up there quite a bit, and we love McKay's. But I'd also purchased some of these Prairie Schoolers, some of the more recent ones from 123 Stitch, and I definitely thought that this would be a good one to stitch for this year. Peace on Earth, because Lord knows we all need that right now. And I love the little the little sheep and the little lamb that Santa is holding. So last night, so I started stitching this on Thursday. The reason I, I like to stitch these on this 14 count oatmeal. I think they look good on that. I love the fabric. It's easy. It's 14 count. I love it. So this is how far I got. And I stitched on this Thursday night and last night. So, but little little funny story. I was kind of tired. I haven't, I didn't stitch a lot on this. And I did this because it was simple. And I'd only, I think I finished the hat on Thursday. Started finishing the rest of it last night. And I kind of had Santa's face but no eyes. Well, it was creeping me out. I'm like, I am not. So the Braves were in a game with the Red Sox. And it was tied. And I said, okay, I am not going to bed until the Braves win the game or Santa has eyes. Well, I gave Santa eyes, and now I feel like he's watching me. It's creeping me out, if you can see those. <laughs> I don't know. It's creeping me out. He's like going, don't make a mistake, because I had started another Prairie Schooler Santa and, and actually got about a third of the way done through it, or a third of the way through it. And just had to, I'm going to restart it at some point. So this is how far I am on this one. I love doing these and I have so many of them and I will probably keep doing them for a long time. And by the way, the Braves lost in extra innings. So anyway, but by the, no, I'm sorry. The Braves won in extra innings. Freddie Freeman hit a two run homer. What is wrong with me? Um, the Braves won. I thought they were going to lose. Um, so the Braves won. Pardon me. Sorry, Freddie. If you ever watch these videos, please know you've always been my favorite. So, but anyway, I'd already put up Santa Claus. He was already in his bag. Santa had already been put up when the Braves were like, I thought they were going to lose because the Red Sox kept coming back. How many innings, honey, did we go to? 11 innings. Yeah. So, so yeah, there's like a lot of back and forth. And then, yes, walk off home run from Freddie, Freddie Freeman and we won the game. So, anyway. That's my stitching week, and that's also probably more about sports than you want to know. But it's a big thing around our house. So, I do have a lot of haul. And um, i got to slow my roll on haul a little bit. <laughs> um, this house buying, I think we're going to have to think of some other options or maybe up our game um, to get a decent one. So, anyway, so my most exciting thing, I actually talked to you about this last week. And I already have these things bagged up and almost kitted up. This is in a just stitching bag my little flamingo christmas bag i got these from needle art on charts hello marie if you're watching yay they're here they are here hands-on design flamingo christmas ornaments and i love them all and but i think i'm going to start flamingo bells first because that looks maybe the easiest i don't know i'm going to start that first but the thing is is that the f I had some fabric I thought was going to work, and I didn't like it. And it just, when I saw the charts, and these are stitched on the 32-count Icelandic blue linen. But I ordered something, some similar linen from 123 Stitch. It'll be here next week. But as soon as that linen is here, I'm going to start. And I also, I have the trim to finish it. If I decide to finish it myself, I probably will. So I've got the trim as well. And I have almost all the flosses. Um, uh... I actually had to buy as as Aztec red. I know you guys are going to tell me if I'm talking fast. I just feel a little off today because I'm just tired. I don't know why I slept in today. So I have almost all of the colors. It it has some of you know sockeye, you know, which is a hibiscus, and this is a different. That's that color. Um. That's not even going to show up there. But anyway, so I have almost all the colors. I may substitute some DMCs out. Um, I have some of the other colors ordered. Also, when I, so I was ordering these wonderful charts, while I was on Stash Unload, Cross Stitch Only, the a lot on charts had this um, floss pack that I wanted. It's called Fairy Tale Colors. And I wanted these colors. I have a project that I'm going to be working on. This has Classic Color Works Old Blue Jeans, Cauldron, Cappuccino, Little Pink, Peony, and Pixie Dust. 
So these are, I'll take them out so I can show you too. These are some cute little colors. As I said, I have a reason, I have a project. It's not gonna be a fairy tale project, I promise you. But these are just the gorgeous little colors. I love the blues. I, I absolutely am in love with this color that's called Old Blue Jeans. I love it. So, I purchased those as well. So, as I mentioned, I went to Hobby Lobby to purchase some things for finishing. And as I went to Hobby Lobby, of course I had to go in to see if they had this fabric and they actually had it in gray this time. So I have this one and I have, um, I didn't buy any more taupe right now, but I did buy two of the grays. I just, I enjoyed stitching on it. Um, Kelly, let me know. I know she's, Kelly who won the fabric for me, she's, she sent me an email. She's already started a project on hers. It looks gorgeous. Um, mine had just one little, like, it wasn't a slug. It was just a bad thing because this is even weave. But it had a little bad place, which I was able to stitch over. Um, so, but I do love that fabric. By the way, the Squirrels, the Autumn Project was stitched on 32 count fabric, this taupe um, fabric. So, I'm kind of bad about not telling what I'm stitching on sometimes. I apologize. I also, speaking of fabric, I need, I meant to put this back in its package. I got my Bee Stitch Me. I am in the neutrals club now. Even though last night on Friday Night Fights, I bought some of her, I think it's pumpkin pie. I bought some of the orange fabric. I had a reason. So this is called Not Another Sampler. I always get um, Even Weave. This is 28 count Jobelin. I, I do 28 count for her. I like this color. I like her fabrics. I like the way she surges them. This is going to be used for a really cool project and I'm debating on whether to keep it to myself until it pans out because I'm kind of making it all up as I go along. But I'm pretty excited. I don't. I haven't started it yet, obviously. But that is what that fabric is for. Well, I had to get a couple of charts because you don't want to just go to one, two, three stitch and buy fabric or buy one or two things. You guys, I showed you the Redbird sampler last week, so I now have the Bluebird sampler from Heart and Hand, and I, I'm going to stitch these and frame these together. As a matter of fact, they have their word, a picture of the Redbird sampler on the back. So, I have both of these now. These will be stitched. Um, Blackbird Designs, who doesn't love Blackbird Designs? I have more of their stuff I don't that I purchased before I started doing Floss Tube upstairs. They started a Magical Mystery Tour series that celebrates the golden anniversary of the Beatles' appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show. They have several patterns, but I have been wanting Eleanor Rigby. And because I had to have some... Other things from 123Stitch just gave me the perfect chance to order this chart, which I plan on stitching sometime in the spring. But I'm happy to have this in my stash and ready to go. So, really feel good. So, enjoying that one. So, yeah, I had a little bit of a haul week. Okay, so now we're getting to my favorite haul. It's always my favorite piece of my haul. Yes, I have a new bag from... Deborah at Joyful Stitching Idea asked her to, to I, I actually requested today, hey, are you going to do any for Cardinals? And she did. And this is gorgeous. Okay. Surprisingly enough, I wanted the green inside. And yes, Deborah, thank you so much for putting the little project back in there instead of in the thing so that I didn't worry, I didn't accidentally throw it away. Um, yeah, that was a good deal. One thing, one of the cool things about Deborah is she always, this is funny, she always puts a little bit of DMC floss in her packages. And I cannot tell you, Deborah, I just don't know if I've ever told you this, but I swear every time you put floss in there, it ends up I need that very color. Um, I haven't actually, I knew I need this for something. I know I need this color. I think this is three. Hold on one second. But I think if I'm right, it is 936. Yes, I need this for something. And I didn't have it. For some reason, I was out of it. So, it happens every time. One time she put white in there. One time she put a gold color that I needed. So, I think that is just absolutely hilarious that every time that she puts something in there, um, I need it. So, anyway, I am trying to unlock my silly eye. Um, Stitchy by the Shore. She does a thing where she can show patterns on her iPad. That's kind of helping me not have to worry about having a color printer because I could show you what I need on my iPad. Except for the fact, I hate to do this on camera, because I'm going to show you something in just a moment. So, 
I actually have stitching plans because this week, um, September ends and October begins. And I am actually doing a stitch along with stitch, Stitching with the Shore, Stitching by the Shore. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, Stitching by the Shore. She's doing a pumpkin birthday stitch along. And I'm going to be doing this one. Gosh, the glare is terrible today. Um, from, this is Hello Pumpkin from Stitching by the Housewives. I am stitching that as part of that stitch along. The thing is, as you know guys, I don't normally like stitch alongs, but I'm planning on stitching that anyway. So might as well join the stitch along. Now, one of my exceptions to the challenge rule is that I will I love the monthly magazine challenge. Why do I like it? Because Carolyn and Robin have created this really wonderful atmosphere where you make it your own and you just do what you want. And what I did last month, um, I just did that little J with the leaves, which you saw attached to the basket. Something very easy, and it was it's fully finished, and I had a great project. And that's what I'm planning on doing for the October one. The, the theme is spooky. I don't do the acrostic, but it's ghost this time. But I'm doing the spooky theme. And this is from a 1990 classic cross stitch. This is actually on the cover. I'm stitching that. I've wanted to stitch that for a long time. I normally don't do a lot of Halloween, but I just think that's a cool little design. And um, so I'm going to stitch that. Well, I had some orange fabric in my stash. I don't know where it went to. I may have loaned it to someone. But I don't know if you guys, if I've talked to you about the time I went to a thrift store and got a lot of haul. And what part of that haul includes this really, I don't even know what to call this. Burnt orange, rust, dark brown. I'm going to stitch it on this. It's an 18 count fabric. I think it's 18 count. But it's an Ada. So I think it's going to look really good on this color too. So I will be stitching this. I actually may start this early. I hope you guys, I hope that's okay. I noticed some other people started their October challenge early. Because I just, I can't wait. It's going to be a real easy and fun stitch. My only problem is, is it is with the thing I stitched last week. I don't like finishing things in the round because it's just I'm not good at cutting out circles so I don't know how I'm gonna finish it yet I think I have an idea and I'm gonna see if it's gonna work but I gotta wait until it's stitched so hopefully it'll work so that is a lot of stuff and we're 22 minutes in and I thought I would be short today because I didn't stitch a lot but I did have a lot of haul and I actually did talk about plans so let's get to the fun part the giveaway yay I'm going to talk first, and then Steve's going to come over here and do the drawing and say, say a few words. He's all decked out in his Georgia Bulldog red, too. We kind of match today. So this is the bag we're giving away. All the red trucks. And again, this gorgeous green. I, I always like red, but I love these greens on these two bags. Deborah, you did an amazing job. And it, also, you're going to get the little accessories bag, which, let me tell you, comes in handy. Um, I love them. And then, again, you get the little bit of green floss. That comes with it which trust me it's you think it's just a little piece of dmc but it comes in handy so this is what we're i am i am just really really happy about all of the responses that we received i actually reached 100 subscribers this week so we're going to do a special giveaway to celebrate 100 i can't believe that 100 people have subscribed to my little channel we're actually at 110 i think because i don't really keep up with numbers but youtube will send you something and says oh you've reached 100 subscribers and i'm like oh okay cool so and this is number 13 by the way if I didn't say that and 13 is not a bad number for me I got married on April 13th to Steve so and that's worked out pretty well don't you think so he's smiling so I did love all of your responses you guys had some hilarious stories um, about some of your experiences with trucks Michelle Fisher had the funniest story about her brother kind of had a fun Friday and slept in the truck in front of their parents house and when they came back when he came back into the house he didn't have his pants on and they still don't know what happened to his pants and you know he still his, the brother thinks he had pants on but like no you didn't have pants on that story is hilarious I laughed my behind off on that story I think I responded to that I hope I did um but anyway, um, Sarah, yes, I'm glad that you enjoy the monthly challenge, too. And you had a really funny story about riding in the back of your grandfather's truck. Um, someone else talked about riding in the back of your uncle's truck. Um, I also rode in the back of my uncle's truck. And my fun truck story is, 
heaven forbid I'm gonna tell this story anyway my mother bless her heart back in the days I don't know if she gave herself a perm or if she was just had her hair done for some reason she had a cap on it and we all decided to get in the back of my uncle's truck understand I live lived in the country kind of I lived in town but I was spent a lot of time in the country growing up so we all decided to get in the back of my great uncle's truck and go and get some water from a spring and so my mom, we're riding through, we're all in the back of the truck. We all know it's dangerous now, but it sure was fun. I'm sure I'm glad that I grew up that way. And all of a sudden her cap just flies off and she's so worried she's trying to hold on to her head. So she just takes one of the water buckets we're gonna get, the, and she just puts it on her head. And that image of my mother is forever in my, in my mind. I was probably seven or eight then, but it was, it was a hilarious moment. Um, and I don't guess we worried about the fact that my mother had had that bucket on her head before we put the water in it. I don't know. So anyway, so, so many great truck stories, um, that we, um, heard and some of you wishing that you had a truck in your neighborhood. And Cheryl, I love the avalanche trucks. I wanted an avalanche truck for a long time. Do they even still make them? I love them. And Jean Truckee, when I saw your name, I thought, wow, truck. You know, <laughs> that's funny. All right, I'm going to stop talking because I know you guys want to know who's going to win this thing. So let's let's bring the husband in. Come on in, Steve. Come on over. Yes, he's wearing his Georgia red, as you guys will see. I'm going to try to hold my knee. My knee is painful today. All right. So say hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. Okay, he's always got to be a comedian. <laughs> you guys know that. So... All right, so Steve is actually going to draw our winner. I'm not drawing. You're drawing, so stop shaking that in my face. <laughs> He's going to draw the winner. Here you go. All right, you going to read it? You want me to read it? You read it. Okay. Sharon Lawrence, you have won the, the bag with the truck. Please send me your email and your address. I, my email address will be in the description box below, which I will likely have done this afternoon if not it will be up tomorrow but my email address is in all of my previous videos description box i think well, at least it's in the last one so sharon i think you were the one who said you wish you had red trucks so hey you're going to get red trucks and you're you're at least going to have a red truck project bag even if you can't if you don't have red trucks so guys a lot to celebrate because we have 100 subscribers you guys I love to answer every comment, and I honestly don't usually get to it to Friday night, but I do love answering every comment, and um, they're getting to be more, and my son was like, Mom, you're going to come to a time where you're not going to answer. I'm like, no, I'm always going to answer them. Even if I have to take a four or five hours to do it, I'm always going to answer each and every one of your comments, because I feel like if you take the time to comment, even if it's, even though it's just to win a prize sometimes, that no matter what, if you take the time to share something with me, I'm going to respond because I am honored that you spend any amount of time with me um, every Saturday. So, so for next week, I'm giving away a $25 Etsy gift card to celebrate the fact that we have 100 subscribers and we're growing. Um, and I also, it's easy to give away an Etsy gift card. I, I learned this last week. Um, giving one to Wendy, it was really easy to do. So, anyway, so what do I want to do? What do you need to talk about? Okay, as you can see, my husband has his bulldog hat on. He, I don't know if you'll wear your falcon hat tomorrow or not. They're not doing too well. I just wanted to comment about something. She made mention of the fact that the, the Tennessee Falls are playing today, too. And I just want to say, uh, congrat, uh, just give a shout out to that one fan that hand clapped the, while when she announced that the that is so mean <laughs> i i know we're a house divided but we don't need to be that divided i just thought yeah. I, I just want i just want to recognize that one person that clapped their hand when she mentioned tennessee it was me <laughs> yay tennessee um i love my little tennessee ball. okay i'm not gonna wear this red and black anymore so there you don't have to be mean i wasn't mean about the bulldogs well, you know, the, the rivalry between Georgia and Georgia Tech is, uh, they won't, we won't be playing Tech this year because, you know, the, the way things turned out with the coronavirus and everything. But um, there, there's, a, there's a motto about the Georgia-Georgia Tech game. It's, uh, it's labeled as good old-fashioned hate. <laughs> there's no so, room for hate in our house okay so. there's no room for that all right so for the giveaway since we're talking sports I want to know are you a sports fan and who is your favorite team so 
just kind of have the word sports. Um, I want to hear who your favorite teams are. Who are you rooting for? I know that some of you watch hockey, which we don't watch in this house because we don't have a hockey team in Georgia anymore. Um, we used to have the Atlanta Flames, and then we had another one. What was the it? The Thrashers. The Thrashers. But we don't have a professional. There is one in Nashville where my stepdaughter, she lives in the Nashville area, but we haven't been to a game yet. And they're actually pretty good. Aren't they the Predators? The National. They were the Stanley Cup, in the, the Stanley Cup runner-ups uh, a couple of years ago. So, so, to win the $25 gift card from Etsy, tell me your favorite sports team, or if you don't like sports, tell me you don't like sports. If you're if someone in your family, your husband, your kids, if they like sports, just tell me a little bit of story about sports, because... Lord knows, you hear ours every week. So, but we are excited. So, yes, go, do go dogs, go Vols. Thank you guys for spending time with me. 13th Lost Team videos and 100 subscribers. That makes me very happy. So, thank you guys for participating. I hope everyone has a great week. Love to all. Go Braves.